In the moment, I think that was a principled human reaction to the stories that he had heard that day. But no, as you've heard from Secretary Blinken and others, the U.S. does not have a policy of regime change in Russia. Full stop. We heard President Biden loud and clear that U.S. will, is and will be with Ukraine in this fight. Anyone who's a war criminal, who attacked neighboring country, who's doing all these atrocities together with all the Russians that are involved, definitely cannot stay in power in a civilized world. Regime change is something that uh, is uh, existential. I mean, you, you just don't do that. That is not the policy of the United States. And uh, that was not in the speech, as you know. That was uh, an ad lib of his at the end of uh, what was a good speech. By saying that, uh, that regime change is our strategy, effectively, it plays into the hands of the Russian propagandists and plays into the hands of Vladimir Putin. There is one individual that's trying to make regime change in Europe, and that's Vladimir Putin trying to change the regime in Ukraine. Our policy is clear. NATO is a defensive alliance. The president has said it himself, um, and we will do all we can to help Ukraine. There's no support in the Democratic Congress for regime change. We've been the party against regime change for the past 20 years. Vladimir Putin, together with everyone, every Russian that is responsible for it, will have to end up in jail for these yeah. war crimes. So yes, he has nothing to do to, to lead a state if Russia would like to be a democratic or, or even a civilized state. So you're saying that, that there should be regime change? Well, you know, it's clear to us that Russia is a terrorist state led by a war criminal.